Hi guys, um, welcome back. If I look a little bit busted up, it's cause it's freezing cold in Chicago and I just got back home from walking around for like three miles in the snow and really cold wind. So yeah, I'm feeling the, feeling the bad weather here. But anyways, um, I am getting some stuff prepared right now because Melissa is gonna come and visit me this weekend from New York to celebrate Valentine's Day. So I'm putting together some little surprises for her and then we can just have like a cozy day inside and we'll just take you around with us this weekend and show you what you can do in Chicago when there is a polar vortex and it's freezing cold out. Bye guys, <laughs> hope you enjoy it. I've been watching way too much um, TikTok recently and there's a girl on TikTok that does amazing cheese trays and I wanted to try making one of my own so this gave me the perfect excuse to. And then you drop the salamis. Uh, that's our little appetizer cheese plate. Tea. <laughs> so excited. <laughs> Alright, just a bunch of random stuff. But it's so cute already! <laughs> For my Galentine. Yeah, <laughs> this is essentials. I got one for each day you're here. <laughs> and yeah, gonna fast forward through this. That is so cute, thank you. <laughs> and since Melissa got into Chicago pretty late, we spent the rest of the evening just hanging out and watching the All the Boys I've Loved sequel that had just come out that week. The next morning on Friday of Valentine's Day was when the real schedule started. So once I mastered it, like everyone was like, can you straighten my hair? <laughs> Hi! <laughs> We're about to brave the cold and go grab some lunch. So first up was heading to Spinning J Cafe and Soda Fountain to grab lunch. And then after grabbing lunch there, we wanted to go walk around West Town and explore some of the kind of local urban street art and take some pictures. Isn't it cute? Come on. I'm not actually a huge fan of soda, but I love Spinning J Cafe because they make their own homemade sodas with all, you know, homemade ingredients and purees and it's incredible and you can see them making the concoction right here. As we were walking around taking pictures, we didn't take into account when planning the itinerary the polar vortex that came through town and got completely frozen. So we made a pit stop at another little cute bakery and cafe to grab something to warm ourselves up before going back out to keep on checking out West Town. And of course we also had to admire all the cute little Valentine's Day stuff they had for sale. Thank God. 
When being outside became too painful, we decided to head to the Forbidden Brewery and Tap Room, which was right around the corner, to grab a few drinks before visiting the Hebrew Brantley Nevermore interactive museum and experience um, that's in the south side. So I found my favorite beer name, and it's this dark. It's called Panda Party. Here, so that last little bit of yours. Once we got to Nevermore Park, we jumped straight into the exhibit. There was barely anyone there, so it was a really cool experience just to take it in all by ourselves. And in addition to Hebrew Brantley's pictures and paintings that were up, we also got the kind of full extent of the interactive museum, which was incredible. to a hidden speakeasy. So Melissa and I are gonna show you how to get in. For dinner, I took Melissa to a place called Bordel. It's a cocktail bar and cabaret lounge located right above one of my favorite tapas restaurants in Wicker Park. It's pretty cool. They have different shows and stuff every night. And I thought it could be a fun experience for our Valentine's Day celebration. Um, the food was great and the show was a little bit raunchy. And we were sitting in the first row, so we got special attention. back home now, washing off the face. <laughs> Who else is laughing at me? 
and my skincare routine. It's not really working though because my cheeks still have rosacea on them. Hey guys, hope you liked the video. Subscribe so you can see more of my uploads from the rest of the weekend. So what room is that? It is real, right? What's in here? <laughs> <laughs> That's a new interactive. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>